Okay, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to City Hall. I'm Tom Stoser, Director of Planning, and I am really pleased to be here this afternoon with the mayor, representatives from FEMA, and members of Planning Department staff, along with other stakeholders, to mark an important achievement in the city's disaster preparedness efforts. I'd like to thank the FEMA team for its hands-on support and involvement in what has been a very rigorous process, and also give full credit to our staff in the Office of Sustainability for meeting the challenges of this demanding process and exceeding expectations with the outcome. And now, without further ado, let me introduce our lead planner for the Community Rating System application submission, Kristen Baja who will provide the details on the accomplishment we're here to recognize and on the benefits to Baltimore residents and property owners. Kristen. Thank you, Tom, and thank you for all your support throughout this process. Uh, so I'm Kristen Baja, I'm the Climate and Resilience Planner with the city. In uh, 2013, the city adopted the Disaster Preparedness Project and Plan, we affectionately call the DP3. And that was a unique and sort of uh, proactive approach to considering hazard mitigation and climate uh, change efforts in the city to become more resilient. One of the six major goals of that process was to become a CRS rated community or community rating system community through the National Flood Insurance Program. So CRS is actually a voluntary program. It encourages community floodplain management activities that exceed minimum standards. It's looking at reducing flood damages to properties, strengthening and supporting our insurance aspects of the NFIP, and encouraging a comprehensive approach to floodplain management. So what this does is makes the city eligible for insurance premium rates and reductions in those rates for all residents, businesses, and actually city government buildings. This is especially important uh, because there are uh, congressionally mandated reforms that started happening in April of 2015 that are going to increase flood insurance policy rates for policyholders. Uh, so we now join uh, 1,368 other communities that participate in CRS, but our score puts us at the top 10% of those communities in the rest of the country. I'd like to thank Zane Hadzik and Michael Galdi for their amazing work in our office and helping on this, and also Amanda Gowans, our ISO specialist, who is a fantastic support. And it's now my privilege to introduce our FEMA Region 3 representatives, uh, our uh, Mary Ann Tierney, the Regional Administrator for FEMA Region 3, and Molly Caput, who is a mitigation planner and has been a great supporter for this effort. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Mary Tierney. I'm the Regional Administrator for FEMA Region 3. There are about 22,000 communities across the country that uh, voluntarily participate in the National Flood Insurance Program. A very small percentage, about 5% of those communities, actually choose to take the extra steps to join the community rating system. And Baltimore, now being a Class 5 city, is among the elite of the elite. Um, there are about uh, 150 uh, NFIP participating communities in Maryland, and just 14 of them are in the community rating system, and Baltimore is now at the, the top of that, the top of that list, having joined CRS as a Class 5 city. Um, there's a few folks that we want to recognize for their work in doing this. It took about two years and a significant amount of effort, and uh, having worked in local government myself, I know how much how much time it takes to do something like this and also how many other priorities there are. So I think it's a real testament to Baltimore's commitment that they invested the long-term time to get this done. So Beth Stroman from the Office of Sustainability, Christian Baja, and uh, Zane Hadzik were instrumental in making this happen. And I just want to recognize Malika Put, who was there kind of guiding them through the whole process from the FEMA regional office. And I think, uh, you know, these public servants deserve a lot of recognition for what they've done for the city of Baltimore today. So with that, I think I'm going to turn over to the mayor for some remarks. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I want to thank FEMA for recognizing Baltimore's commitment to preparedness. I am honored to accept this plaque on behalf, even uh, in advance. Real quick, ready? Thank you, sorry. Honored to accept, thank you. On behalf of, uh, it would have been, a, you know, if you had changed your mind, it would have been <laughs> very awkward. Uh, to accept this uh, plaque on behalf of my administration as we celebrate Baltimore City's recognition as one of the nation's leading floodplain management communities. This high honor in Class 5 designation means thousands 
of Baltimore residents will save hundreds of thousands of dollars collective, collectively on flood insurance bills. To be exact, this will give flood insurance policyholders a 25% discount on their premiums. It will provide cost savings to over 3,000 Baltimore City policyholders, including families and small businesses, with an average savings of $153 per person annually. This is great news for Baltimore City residents who are already seeing, an in seeing increases in their flood insurance premiums due to uh, congressionally mandated reforms. I want to recognize the leadership of the planning director, Tom Stoser, and our team at the Office of Sustainability for spearheading this uh, process under the leadership of Beth Stroman, Kristen Baja, and Zane Hadzik. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the, flood, the city's floodplain experts have done an excellent job getting us to this point. The citizens of Baltimore pay almost $2.5 million in total in, in flood insurance annually, meaning the CRS uh, Class 5 designation will save us almost half a million dollars every year. But more important to the cost savings are the savings of lives and the reduction of property damage that Baltimore City citizens and businesses may experience as a result of the city's proactive floodplain management efforts. Strong floodplain management codes, including the requirement of a citywide two-foot safety factor, demonstrate Baltimore's commitment to proactive planning and innovative mitigation solutions. During my tenure as mayor, the city has had its share of climate-related disasters. Although we have seen an increase in the frequency of weather-related events, there has been no noticeable shift in the intensity of these events, with the impact of precipitation events already being felt throughout the city. My administration prioritized and establish, and, and, excuse me, prior, prioritized the establishing of a proactive approach to floodplain management. Of the 15 CRS communities in Maryland, Baltimore is ranked the highest, uh, along with Prince George's County. This is a tremendous accomplishment for a city of our size and something that I'm very, very proud of. Again, I would like to thank uh, the FEMA Region 3 uh, for their support. Becoming a CR5, uh, class, CRS Class 5 community is another step that we've taken to make Baltimore a more resilient, equitable, and sustainable city. I want to thank you all for your hard work that you've done in the past and the continued work that you're going to do in the future. It makes a big difference to the citizens of Baltimore. I'm very grateful for your work.